Well, hey there, folks, and uh, welcome back, I guess. Well, it's fall once again, and what better way to celebrate fall than getting blitzed on hard apple cider sausages, just like Grandma used to do. But before we get into into the sausaging, old choppy ain't what it used to be. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta sharpen this knife. Good news and bad news. Today the store had pork butt, but they they had bone-in pork butt. We gotta get that bone out of there. This style's good for like pulled pork, but if you wanna make sausages, you, you, you gotta deal with that bone. Oh yeah, look at this, just tearing away at it. Look at that. I should have sharpened this thing years ago. All right, we got that bone out of there. That's, that's... That's bony, all right. That wasn't so bad. That took about five minutes. We're not going to use all this. This this is enough for quite a bit of sausaging in our future. Yep, that's a big pile of chopped up meat. If you watched last Friday's episode, you know what a big debacle that was because we didn't have our meat frozen enough. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put some of this in a bag and we're and we're gonna freeze it and then we're gonna grind it. We got our partially frozen meat here. Some of it feels a little firm, some of it doesn't. So we're gonna see how that goes. Yeah, there's a log of meat. It appears we could have used a little bit more time in the freezer, but it was in there for like an hour. God, it looks like brain from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Wait, this is this is totally getting a regrind, by the way. Oh. Freaking come on now. And back in the grinder you're going. Who knows what horrible shape will come out of there now. This is like bad idea to worse idea. Partially frozen's not good enough. Well, shucks, you know, you win some, you lose some, people. Just gonna segue right into this part. Well, of course it's gonna be soaked in this Angry Orchard stuff, but we're also gonna boil it in it. Let me show you a trick I learned in the Sausage Marines. How about that? This looks like a pretty successful Saturday night out. I'm gonna let this marinate for like an hour. All right, we're back an hour later and not much has changed, although it has solidified quite a bit. It looks like the absorption has uh, really taken hold. That meat's holding on to it really good. But don't worry, plenty of this liquid's still gonna come out when we press this sausage. All the sausages are brown sausages and the sausages is gray and the sausage is gray wow really not that much liquid came out it's like everything that i said would happen in this episode the exact opposite has happened all right in in three two one let's sausage oh and, I, and that's it. That's all the casing I got. This has been a very wet experience. Seven sausages out of that. I'm gonna poke half of them and see if the other half blows up. With special thanks to today's Mark Boxalo box artist. This guy. Look at that. Look how look how great he looks. So will it blow? Oh, yes, right in the eye. I'd also surrounded the box pretty good. So I'm going to have to give that, will it blow? Five Mark Ruffalos. It's no time like the present to get this party started. And one more. These probably would have unraveled by themselves, so I went ahead and tied some butcher's twine around each one. Ah, uh, well, all right. Uh, here we go. Well, things are things are coming along, I guess. Well, it it looks like we got one or two bursts in there. And now we just got to hope that the whole thing doesn't burst when we take it out. Ow. Ah, uh, well, results are inconclusive. These must be the four that I didn't poke. And of course, the skin isn't crispy, but we you know we have a cure for that. <laughs> Let's do this one, and uh, let's, you know, let's, let's take a bite. 
it's not it's not really bad at all it's it's um it ha it has a little bit of 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 apple cider taste to it. it it doesn't have that strong alcohol flavor to it like the tequila sausage and the um and the sangria sausage it's it, it's pretty it's pretty good remember we we only flavored this with the with the with the hard cider there was no salt or pepper or anything the skin does crisp up when we hit it with the flamethrower so that's great news i'm gonna have to give these sausages here a Three out of five. Bop, 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 bop. How loud can this get? Oh, yeah, that's a, that's an air ringer right there.